All right, here we are in a beautiful Newport Beach, Costa Mesa area of Southern California. Nice little breeze this morning, looking at a very nice, meticulously maintained, one owner, 2012 uh, Fisker Karma ES. We're gonna walk around and kind of tell you what we know about it. And it's this particular owner is, just takes care of his things. Everything's been maintained by Fisker approved uh, facilities that worked on them. All the comp campaigns are up to date on the car. It has generation two battery pack in it, which, which everybody wants. Uh, it's finished in an Eclipse Pearl, which is also a color that was that's available in the 2017 model of the Karma. Uh, walk around, I about, you know, we'll get specs at Spud's Garage when we get back to the office. It's based on what the owner knows. They produced these cars in 2011 and 2012, and there was about 2,500 of those produced. Then the company faltered a little bit, and it's just recently been back where they're reproducing these cars in 2017. They look almost exactly the same. Uh, minor technology upgrades. In fact, this owner early on put wheels on it that are very similar to what they're doing with the 2017s. They're 22 inch, they're custom made. Uh, they have custom made centers so they'll fit the Fisker center cap so they look factory and real. It's an EVER which is electric vehicle extended range. The ES on Karma means uh, Eco Sport. A little bit of wind, I hope it's not going to mess with my video. If it does, we apologize for that. We'll give you kind of a peek inside. It has a uh, the roof on it, a solar panel roof that actually charges the 12 volt systems of the car, but also when it's plugged in, they also get charged. That's one of the upgrades that was done to this car uh, modifications. So it charges a system that operates most of the electronics in the car. Um, battery packs 240 volt, it's different. We'll show you the back seat here. It's got a, uh, we'll get up to the front and I'll tell you about the leather. It's got uh, much of the same style of leather that they'd have in a Rolls Royce. It's uh, Bridges of Weir. It's a Scottish leather. Uh, very, very nice uh, smell. You can tell it when you get in it. It has Alcantara uh, suede leather here, which is kind of a textured suede. Again, only 6,700 miles on the car. Not maintained. I mean, not abused is what I meant, well maintained, and it also, uh, the owner's a non-smoker, so it's never even had a cigarette anywhere near it. Um, you can see floor mats, factory floor mats, and you'll see the uh, texture of the Alcantara suede. A lot of the neat things that are done to it, there's some driftwood that they did with these cars, and they're offering that again, uh, driftwood accessories. We'll show you when we get over to the passenger side there. We'll actually come back around to this side. Um, again, 6,700 miles. Vin is uh, all, we'll have a video of the engine compartment here for you and actually the trunks. So we'll give you an idea of the trunk. You'll be able to buy a car for this that about half of what the new ones are and they look exactly the same. This one's all up to date, like I said. He does, he believe, have some remaining warranty on it. We'll have to look at the dates. So we'll have to put that in Spud's Garage on our text update. So go to spudsgarage.com. You can kind of get a good feel for the uh, the Eclipse Pearl looking at in the light right there, but it's really the car looks black until you look at it in the just right. So it's black with a pearl coat on it is what it is. Um, no door dings. Always parked inside and part of a 20, you know, extensive car collection basically is what we'll say. We're thinning down some of it and this is one of the cars that's going to go out in the package. Just taking care of it. True one owner car. Southern California car. No bad weather driving. Our walk arounds can be a little bit long. We're going to show you the uh, driftwood that they reperform on the on the front of the dash here, or reclaimed wood. There's some right there. You kind of get a feel for this car on the inside. If you could smell, it's got a little bit of a hint of a, you can just see it. They don't overpower it with Fisker emblem stamped in the seat. But the smell in the car is just pure high-end leather. Around the passenger side here. By the, we, we took the windows down or put the windows down so that you could see the car, um, the interior better as we kind of go around to see the condition of it. Uh, the windows have a medium tint on them so it's got a ghoul sinister look on it. Go to Spud's Garage again where you, all the still photos were taken with the windows open. It's 
step back let's take a look here we'll have a few different video clips and so on and so forth of the car running you really can't hear it run definitely go to spudsgarage.com there's a Karma ES badge on the back EVR ER on the other side everything's maintained like it's supposed to be done 22 inch wheel upgrade by the owner anyway there you go it's about time for us to tell you to get in I'm gonna go ahead and hop in we'll turn the button on it's got auto memory seats and stuff like that and share the dash it knows I'm in here it's making noise The odometer reads 6757 at the time of inspection. It's kind of booting up as I'd call it. You can either run it on the electric alone or the engine and electric combination. There you go. Go to spudsgarage.com. Have a great day. <laughs> Start it up. Just kidding. You won't hear it. He's booting it up is what he's doing. What you're hearing there are the uh, low speed sensors that you can hear so that uh, folks that may have hearing issues or whatever would uh, be able to hear the car. They are front and rear. All right, let's take a look underneath the hood. As you would expect, 6,700 miles on it. It's been maintained only by authorized Fisker people. Um, 2.0 liter turbocharged direct injection is the uh, engine part of the powertrain on this. It's a 240 horsepower. And then when you throw in the rear electric motors, it goes to 440 horsepower. And you can run on both of them. Twin turbo, there's a twin air intakes right there. This car's never been modified or painted on. It's had all its campaigns as I walk around to the other side here have all been done and are up to date. Here's one of the campaigns that was uh, performed early on. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. It's about as new as you get. Talk to you soon. Hang on to the end of the video. All right, just a little update here. The front battery is up here, but it also has the uh, Generation 2 battery pack in it, so it's got the updated battery pack in it, which is uh, important. Hang on. All right, let's take a look at the trunk here. Literally never been used. Uh, plenty of room for a weekend fun run. Plus, have a large back seat. Here's the compartment here. Everything's here, onboard compressor. There's some connectors that come with it. I'm going to push that back down there. Anyway, go to spudsgarage.com where we'll have plenty more. Thanks.